Welcome to the new Herco 3D DXF import option. We will go over some of the features and capabilities now available using WinMax on the Max 5 control. First, let's draw a rectangle. Pre-select the snap to object and key it to points. Then select the rectangle draw function. By moving the cursor over the part zero icon, it will snap right to the zero with one corner and draw a rectangle in space. Next, go to the DXF settings and change the chamfer and fillet radius size to a half inch. On the action pane, select the chamfer, then select the two intersecting sides of the rectangle to automatically create a chamfer. Select the radius function and throw a radius on the opposite corner. The next drawing will be a simple circle. Once again, use the snap to object and select the point definition in order to locate on the part zero. By selecting the circle key from the draw menu, we can now snap to the part zero and begin drawing a circle concentric with the part zero. Once the circle is created, we can modify its properties by using the single select cursor and clicking on the arc. Now basic properties of the circle can be modified, such as the X, Y, or Z center along with the radius. Just click the apply key to accept the changes. With some of the basic drawing out of the way, let's bring in some DXF files that have been created offline. To do so, we will use the import key, select the desired DXF file, and hit open to load the file into WinMax. Contours can now be chained with just one click. Use the chain selection setting and click on the feature you want. From here, we can join the features into one unit or explode them back into multiple pieces. If you have lots of holes on your part, then filtering by radius is available. If you are unsure of the size of the feature, just click on the circle to see its position and radius. Once the radius is known, just go to Settings and place that number into the Filter Circle Radius field and adjust the filter tolerance as needed. Select the Filter Circle Radius parameter and then use the Window Select to find just the holes you want. From here you can create a holes block as either patterns or locations. The DXF we loaded here is a 3D DXF. This is part of the upgrade from the classic DXF import that only handled 2D files. We will take advantage of the included Z dimension now available by pocketing out the center hole. Using the single select cursor, we can click on the bottom hole and create a circle block from the profile. The next prompt will ask for the top of the feature to establish the starting height. Then set the contour direction. Accept the changes by clicking on the approve key and new conversational milling block is created. Changing to the block review screen, just select your tool to autofill some of the info, define it as a pocket boundary, and pick the desired milling style. For this demonstration, I will use Adapt Path One Way, and I have changed my default program parameters to a helix so I can complete this pocket in one shot. Here we see the final result. For more complex contours, the process is the same. Just select the feature to be cut, click Contour, and follow the prompts for the top of the Z and the direction of cut. WinMax will create the block, and the only thing left is to input the tool and the cut information. To get this option, please contact your local Herco distributor for more information, or go to herco.com to learn more about compatibility and price.